Hey guys, what is up? Thanks for coming back to the channel. Today guys, I am going to show you yet another data recovery software. You can't have too many of these when it comes to lost or accidentally deleted data or something like that. You want to have all options that you can to try to recover that important data. So today guys, I'm going to show you this piece of software called My Recover. It is from Aomi Software. Uh, link is down in the description below and we're going to go through the download and install right quick uh, But first let's take a look at kind of what they offer Let's just kind of skim through this and I do encourage you to go ahead and um, when you have time um, Just click that link and kind of follow along and, and kind of read about what they do here um, There's a brief introduction here, uh, you know easy to operate uh, You can recover lost and deleted data from Windows and it truly is three easy steps. We'll go into that here. Uh, it definitely covers all of these partition types and these different operating systems. Hopefully no one out there is running Windows 7. You're a security risk or your system's at risk. If you are, I would recommend upgrading that to at least Windows 10. Uh, but let's take a look at this, guys. Um, it will go step by step here of how it can help you. And it lists different uh, little things like what you do assume, like data recovery and st stuff like that. 200 plus types of data. Um, so whether it's lost pictures or whatever that you have lost, audios, emails, this piece of software does it all. It's pretty sweet, actually. So let's go ahead and continue to go down here. Explains a little bit more of what it will recover. Um, it goes pretty extensive. I mean, we're even talking about formatted disks and recycle bins here and lost partitions, so it can help you with that. Um, a little bit more stuff there, even after a virus attack, which is pretty cool. Um, it just goes on to a little bit more about what type of data here, so kind of to be expected. Um, now, that's kind of the same stuff, so if we scroll down here, um, there is a free version and um for most of you it might be okay but if you see here if you have files bigger than 30 megabytes it's probably not going to work for you but if you move up to the pro version here um, you can recover unlimited data and um, it's just one license and so there are some differences here if you just lost maybe a couple of you know small text files the free version will work pretty good for you, but if it's anything bigger than that, you need to go into it uh, a little more and, you know, big chunks of data or just if you want unlimited, um, this would be the next best step here. And um, this one here, the tech version, you can use on unlimited computers and pretty much all the same stuff there. Uh, but this one's unlimited as many computers as you want. So anyway, guys, let's get started on this. Um, like I said, you can go through that website later if you want to know a little bit more. But once you're at the website here, again, link in description below, we're just going to choose free download. And I'm going to go ahead, place that on my desktop right there. And let's minimize this. And once it is downloaded, we'll just double click on that to get it installed. And we're going to choose English, and we're going to go next, and we're going to accept that license agreement. You guys all read it, right? I trust that you do. Let's click next. Um, I'm just going to let it default install where it says. If you want to change that, you're welcome to do so. And next, and yep, the My Recover name is fine. And yeah, let's create a desktop icon. Why not? And next, and install. So it really doesn't take long to install, and the installer even has the option to launch the iRecover. So we're going to go ahead and hit finish on this. So as you guys see, when this comes up, it is a pretty nice graphic user interface. And that is definitely always a good thing. You, you want a easy to use graphic user interface and just like on their website they did say that it uh, was easy to use and so far you guys see that and you'll even see that it's even easier to use as we go on here so all right guys what we're going to do we are just going to do some basic uh 
the basic use of the software here. Now, if I open up my file explorer here, and let me drag this on over, because it's on another screen. Um, you see my F drive here. Now this is just a small thumb drive, 32 gig thumb drive that I have plugged into USB here. And I've just kind of loaded some sample files onto it. Um, this really isn't Windows product keys or tax info. I just had to throw something on here, but these are actual pictures from my PC. So we've all been there where we accidentally format a drive or we even just, you know, maybe go to move something and you accidentally delete it. Let's say we need to go hit copy and for some weird reason we accidentally hit delete and okay. I know it generally doesn't work that way in that scenario. However, this is demonstration only. Um, so anyway, as you see those files now, if we pop back on here, they are gone and they're not even in our recycle bin. So, uh oh, what do we do? So, okay, let's close this out. Well, we've got our My Recover software here now. And so you can see your drives are listed, even your USBs that you have plugged in here. Um, now that's my primary, my two backup drives. And so I am going to go in here. Um, you just click on it once and then you simply hit start scan. So what this does is at this point, it will go through, it scans every partition of the drive or the USB thumb drive. This will even work on like SD cards, SD micro cards and stuff like that. So it will go through, it will take the time to go through, do a deep scan on this and kind of uh, find anything that was deleted or even if the drive was formatted. So let's give it the time to do that. And when it gets a little bit closer to being done, I will be right back. Okay, guys, it looks like we are pretty much done there. Now, looking at the clock down there, honestly, that only took probably about 15, no, about 20 minutes to finish. Now, the last time that I did this experiment with another piece of software, uh, that was in an upcoming video, I believe. Or no, that one actually already launched. Uh, either way, it actually took about 45 minutes to do that. So this My Recover, they were not kidding um, about it is quick. It does scan it quick. And um, it seems effective because if we look at this, guys, um, it brings up three different folders here. And these are 20 items. It looks like it uh, recovered for deleted files. Nothing from Recycle Bin and other missing files, 159. So it actually extracted, scanned, and pulled out more files uh, than what I had deleted. So at this point, all you have to do um, is take a look at this. You just hit the little arrow there and it will show you the F drive here and report folder. No, that's right there. So if we take a look at that, guys, look at that. That is the pictures that I had deleted and we scroll down. Um, there's some tax info. Um, it actually recovered that twice. I'm not sure about that. Now, the other great thing that I do like about this software compared to other data recovery softwares, other data recovery softwares will actually just give your file names generic names, and it will not give you the original file name. It will recover it fine, which is great. Um, but this continues to keep and hold the original file name, which is awesome in my opinion. Um, so yeah, guys, as you can see, that worked very well and very quick. Um, so this is everything that we deleted. Let's move down here. Um, it looks like it recovered some more images. JPEGs there. Okay, it looks like some of them might be the same. Yep, so it does separate them out, it looks like. An emoji, uh, some documents there. All right, perfect. Now these are actually, this is funny because I was just talking about other data recovery software is just giving it a generic name. And these are actually from the demonstration that I did from the previous piece of software and deleted it. It gave it these generic names and then I deleted it again. So. But uh, yeah, you got a whole bunch of stuff here 
that um, was recovered, which is fantastic. It even brought out more stuff that we didn't ask for. So that is really cool. So anyway, guys, that uh, is pretty much it for my quick tutorial and review of this piece of software. Again, it is My Recover by Aomi Technologies. Check out the link in the description below. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, go ahead and click that like button and consider subscribing for upcoming future content. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.